Sorry, folks. Uh, got a little bit of, uh, well, truck grime all over the hands. You know, maybe I might actually be able to take, let's see, I had these on when I was working on my truck. I showed you the video. They're all tore up. Maybe I can sell these things. Look at that. Actual grease, actual grime. I don't know if you saw them on TV, on uh, the web today, but some stores selling uh, pre mudded pants for like 400 bucks a pop. I got like three or four pair of jeans in the house full of mud, grime, axle grease, all kinds of shit. Sell those a couple of hundred bucks. Hmm. The kilt man's pants. There's actually, I think there's something to that. So, anyway, sorry, I, I, that just dawned on me. Everyday KT, number 138. Talking about asshats and the people who absolutely hate us. And we're not talking about people who despise us because we're a certain color. We like a certain this or a certain that. They hate us because we... Yes, Nordstrom's. Thank you, Chris. So I'm actually going to put my pants up on eBay and see what happens. If I get more than 20 bucks, I'm actually going to sell them because they're beat to shit. Um, I'm talking about the people who hate us because we're confident. Because... We don't care what they think. We're not here for their entertainment, their amusement, and we're not afraid to say so. You know, it's it's one thing to be humorous and be silly, but it's another thing to completely hate the people who really don't give a rat's ass if you approve of them or not. And that's your goal. Your goal is to get to the point where you're happy because of you, not because of what that moron up the street thinks or what that girl down the way thinks about how you're wearing your whatever. I mean, it's one thing if you're trying to um, romance her a little bit. That's one. That's different. But the average run-of-the-mill busybody, who cares what they think? If they don't have enough to do where they have to worry about what you're doing, screw them. The hell with what they think. It is completely irrelevant. They could think you're God's gift to the world, or they could think that you are one step shy of Satan himself. Is it actually going to impact your life? In any way, shape, or form. Does it matter? Does it actually matter what they think? Is it your boss? No. Well, then who gives a rat's ass? And even is even if it is your boss, and you know your personal life, provided it does not impact your professional career, who cares? Who cares? God only knows what half of the people in the universe do when they're not at work. Go to any bar on any Friday night; you'll see plenty of it. You do not need to worry about what every other person thinks. They all have opinions, they all stink, and that's exactly what they are. They're their opinions. Not your judgment, not your the opinions. It's not going to decide whether or not you succeed or fail because the the busybody up the street thinks that your kilt's weird. Screw it. You know, you're having a good time. You're out there helping people. You're doing good. You're being a good influence on the universe. So why the hell are you worried about what that one person who kind of makes you feel like shit? Why do you worry about what they think? You know what you do? You keep living your life. You do your thing. You succeed. You be happy. You make other people happy. And if worse comes to worse, you do it to spite them. Regardless of what it is that you're doing... Do your thing. Be a good person. Be happy. Be confident in yourself. Confident enough where you can go do the things you want to do. Regardless of what they think. You know, the, the, the kilt police are not out there. There's no badges. I've never seen one. I've been wearing a kilt for 10, 12 years. I've never seen a kilt police badge that I didn't make myself because it was funny. Not there. You know, there's not some kind of moral code about we can't wear a kilt for this or can't do that does no it's not your problem
problem. You don't need permission to be a happy person. You don't need permission to be to have a good life. You don't need somebody else's permission to do what you want to do. Because if you set yourself up to require someone else's permission, especially if they have no bearing on your life, screw it. Um, probably, Nathan, it's a really cheap shirt. I don't know. It probably got it at, at Bass Pro. I have no idea. It's probably a $10 tech shirt. Um, so you don't need all these people's permission to be yourself, to be awesome, and to go kick ass. So stop waiting for it. Stop giving them the power over what you do, what you think, how you live. That's not why you're here. You're not here to live, to entertain these other people. You're not here to make their lives better. You're here because of you. You're here because you want to kick ass. You want to be a good person. You want to live your life. And you want to enjoy it. You don't want to be miserable. You don't want to be stuck doing the same shit over and over. Because somebody else's opinion somehow prevents you from doing what you want to do. Prevents you from being yourself. So don't. Uh, if, if, if you need permission, fine. I officially give you permission to go be a happy person. Go do your thing. Be awesome. I give you complete and total permission to do so. I have no power to do so, but if you require permission, fine, you have it. Consider it bequeathed upon you, or I, I don't know. I'm going to use the magic wand of kilt hanging. Da, 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 da. Boom. You all have permission to be awesome, do your thing. Go out there, kick some ass. Somebody throw out a kiltology before I start putting on a wizard's hat or some shit. Please. Um, it's getting deep really fast. One reason, because I'm pissed. My brake kits, these are for drum brakes. These are too damn short. I'm going to use the originals. Luckily, luckily they're, fit, they're original Toyota, and they fit. Paul, with the win. Volume 2. It looks like, because of this, I get to get my book, Greasy. Everyday uh, Kiltology, Volume 2. It's over on Amazon. Uh, 151 is actually in Volume 1, Nathan. So, again, boom, right there. I'm not going to touch the page because my hands will turn everything black. It's like that Vanta Black crap. It will turn everything a, some, a shade of black you can't even see. Kiltology number 272. Losers. In real life, there are winners and losers. Teaching your kids that everyone is a winner, no one is a loser, gives them a much lower chance of success when competing for jobs and companions in the real world. Competition is at the heart of almost everything. Taking that away from kids will only make them children longer. Why do you think we have insurance coverage for children who are 26 years old? Oh, word to the wise. Calling a kilt a loser is a bad idea. They throw trees for fun. So, how does that apply? Simple. You are kicking ass. You have absolutely no one to impress unless you want to. You are badass. So put your kilt on, go out there, do your thing, kick some ass, and be strong. Put a kilt on.